Emily Oleguin was 10 years old when he first held a gun, placed in his hands by Marxist guerrillas spreading their revolution to the cities of Colombia. By the age of 17, he committed his first contract killing for Pablo Escobar's Medellin cartel, the pioneers of the Colombian cocaine trade. At 22, he was convicted of murder after leading his criminal gang into a war against Medellin's leftist militias. But by the time he turned 30, Emre Olguin, hitman, gang leader, scourge of the militias, had become a peace broker, mediating pacts between gangs from prison. Today, age 54, he's a fierce advocate for implementing the Colombian government's flagship policy of total peace in Medellin. For total peace, the government has pledged to negotiate with any armed group willing to sit down at all. And in Medellin, it's found what may be its biggest and most controversial challenge. Multiple distinct gangs that together control an underworld that's fragmented but deeply rooted, leaderless but all powerful. Emory Olguin has lived through every generation of conflict in Medellin since the 1980s. Can the lessons he's learned now help break the cycle of violence in Colombia's capital of organized crime? Find out more in our latest investigation, theinsightcrime.org.